everyone, welcome to another STEAM at Home. I'm Miss Erin, and this week we're going to be talking about International Dot Day. Now, what is International Dot Day? It's a day that is a global celebration of creativity, courage, and collaboration based on the book, The Dot, by Peter H. Reynolds. So if you've never read The Dot, we have copies available in our library. Be sure to request it. It's one of my favorite books, especially when we're talking about creativity, courage, and collaboration. It's a caring teacher notices that there's a girl kind of struggling to create something and trusting in her own abilities. So the teacher encourages her to be brave to make her mark. And of course, this is not giving away too much. If you've never read it, she makes her mark by a di using a dot which is why it's called the dot. So to celebrate International Dot Day, there's all kinds of different activities you can do if you look online. There's even a song available if you look online. I'm going to do an activity that is going to involve paint and Q-tips and a piece of paper. We're going to do a dot painting in the style of pointillism. Pointillism is a kind of art that is small distinct dots that form some kind of pattern or an image. In my case, I already started mine earlier. I was going for a very colorful fall leaf. All you need to do is take a little bit of paint on the end of your Q-tip and put little dots. Pointillism, if you, if you look up some images of it, they're very, very close together dots. But because this is something that you are doing at home, you can spread your dots out. You can put them in all different kinds of shapes. I actually have done this before, just kind of free form doing patterns with the dots. Not really making a very clear image. In this case, like I said, mine is eventually going to be a leaf you can create anything else. Maybe you want to make a pumpkin, a fall pumpkin. Got a leaf going on here. You want to make an apple because it's back to school season. Go ahead, get creative. Have fun with your dot paintings. Maybe you want to make a very big dot out of a lot of little dots. That would be a pretty cool dot painting and a good way to celebrate International Dot Day. I will see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.